In ICFBRM, there are a number of features that make analyzing data and reporting results straightforward. You can add context to your particle track data by incorporating data from other instruments. Use the PVM task pane to bring in exported microscopy images from PVM instruments. To add process parameter information, such as temperature or agitation, click on the Add Trends icon in the Trends viewer. This can be done in real time or after an experiment completes. Another way to add context to ICFBRM experiments is to compare the current experiment with previous experiments in order to understand if the process is behaving consistently or if a change in a critical process parameter has influenced the particle size and count trajectory over time. This is also done by clicking on the Add Trends icon and pulling in the relevant ICFBRM trend. You can also copy and paste trends from other ICFBRM experiments or from other IC applications. The easiest way to do this is to right click on the trend name in the legend to copy. By clicking on the trend viewer at key process points, it is possible to observe how cord length distributions are changing. This indicates how particle size and count is reacting to process parameters and events. Views in ICFBRM are linked meaning it is simple to view the particle view image associated with a certain cord length distribution and to determine the process conditions at that point in time. Cord length distribution, trends and particle view images can be easily copied and pasted to Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint by selecting the toolbar button in the relevant view and choosing copy as a meta file or bitmap. Detailed data analysis can be accomplished by opening a result set or distribution library. Here data from multiple experiments can be compared side by side in order to show how changing process parameters influence particle size and count in the process. A simple one-click report feature is also available to output the current views and experiment data to a Microsoft Word document. For more information, please see the other tutorial videos available with your software or the ICFBRAM help file. Thank you.